the Council has sent a clear message that violence and discrimination against people of diverse sexual orientations and gender identities cannot be tolerated. This Council session also sent a clear message that Council membership comes with scrutiny. This shows the potential the Council has to leverage its membership to become more effective and responsive to rights holders and victims. The Council did the right thing by extending its monitoring of Eritrea and the Philippines. We deplore council members who seek to use their seats to shield themselves from scrutiny and states who stand with perpetrators that continue to commit violations with impunity rather than with victims. We welcome the letter by 22 states raising concerns on China and consider it as a first step. And we look to these governments to sustain scrutiny in September, including to push for access of independent human rights monitors to Xinjiang. We also welcome the progress made in the resolutions on the rights of women and girls that reflect the current international legal framework. However, in the text on the contribution of development, long-standing consensus language from the VDPA has again been deliberately excluded. We call on the Council to continue to strengthen its work in addressing the threat posed by climate change to human rights, given its urgency. The Council has missed an opportunity in Sudan, where it could have supported regional efforts and ensured that human rights are not sidelined. We now look to African leadership to ensure that human rights are upheld in the transition. States heard loud and clear that the time to hold Saudi Arabia accountable is now. We urge states to adopt a resolution at the September session to establish a monitoring mechanism over the situation. We welcome the report on Venezuela and urge the Council to adopt a commission of inquiry in September. The continued delay in the release of the database is of deep concern. We join others in calling on the High Commissioner to urgently and fully fulfill this mandate as a matter of urgency and we call on all states to cooperate with all council mandates. Numerous states and stakeholders highlighted the importance of the report on Kashmir, and we look forward to discussing it in September. Finally, we welcome the principled leadership shown by Belgium, Luxembourg, and the Netherlands in pursuing accountability for individual victims of intimidation and reprisals, and we call on all states to raise all individual cases at the interactive dialogue in September. Thank you.